Greetings, my name is Nathan Allen Pinard, and this is Let's Notate Episode 2. And I got a slightly different setup here, I'm trying to get my voice to be a little more clear. I can hear myself in my ears, so I'm a, hopefully a little more understandable. Admittedly, the last episode, you know, I was a little nervous. It was one of those things I haven't really done before. So just uh, make a little adjustment there. Anyway, last uh, time we were orchestrating something for OC Remix, and uh, one of the questions I got was, what the heck is OC Remix? And uh, so it's a very obvious question that I should have answered in the first place. OC Remix is a essentially a community of composers that got together and wanted to come up with a portal for people to find remix remixes of video game music uh, going all the way back to the 80s starting from the Super Mario theme going all the way up to the latest Final Fantasy tracks uh, that's essentially what OC Remix is it's a community where you get together and you uh, basically come up with remixes for popular video game music or in this case with uh, Terranigma video game music that was never really heard before because this is one of those Super Nintendo uh, Entertainment System titles that was never released in the US when it was popular and that happened a lot back in the day with Japan and uh, you know nowadays we see like say some of the Final Fantasies that were in Japan uh, not recently, but sometimes you see some like remasters of Final Fantasy V, and then I didn't even know they released Final Fantasy II and Final Fantasy III on uh, you know iOS platforms until you know much afterwards. Um, back in the day, it was you know within the 80s and 90s, it was very controlled in what was decided that we we got to see. Um, so OC Remix is is just that area where you can find all sorts of uh, remixes of video game music and this goes from you know something to being like electronic dance music EDM dubstep you know all the way to something acoustical or, or to orchestral which is what we're doing here so that's what OC Remix is anyway hope you enjoy this episode uh, last time we were working on the piano parts for Evergreen I had to get a new stylist because um, the other one kind of crapped out on me um, there is a slight design flaw in this stylus, um, so once in a while I have to get one. I have to treat these carefully when I when I screw the battery in. Anyway, last time we went ahead and we started the initial piano part of Evergreen, and we're now going into the next step, where um, you know we start bringing more instruments in, and I got pretty much in my head what I want. Let's hope we can actually get it out of my head and onto paper. So let me go ahead and play what we had last time. Okay, so the first thing I decided is, you know, after listening to the the original track, um, the the original track, it was get my mic pack here. The original track was um, th there was a note in here was like da 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 da, and I decided that we should leave that in. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, so hmm, uh, we are on two. Mm -hmm. One, two, uh, two, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's just simply quarter notes. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and get rid of, actually, let's get rid of that too. Mm -hmm. Da, da, da.
which is simply just two eight notes. And with this tie, let's get rid of that. Whoops, get rid of that uh, staccato there. Always got to make sure that's unselected. Yeah, it's about what it was. So there was a slight difference. Uh, it was a dun, one, two, three. So we had uh, this actually was a dotted half. And this was a quarter. I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't fill it in like that. So we have to. Delete it. There you go. So there we go. That maintains the melody. Uh, I may have simplified it a little too much last time. So what are we going to do now? Well, First thing uh, that's going to happen is we could just hash out the piano part. That's probably the more complicated. Um, kind of want sort of a just a progressive piano part um, while the the some staccato strings takes over the motif, and we have like some low frequency booms, you know, with the grand casa or you know with uh, cinematic effects later on. Uh, we'll just use the Grand Casa in here now. And by the way, Grand Casa is basically bass drum for orchestra. Um, you know, with some cymbals. And then we'll have some French horns kind of climb up. It'll be another mini intro before the, the melody comes in again. Because while, you know, a lot of the old video game soundtracks always have like a motif. And you always want to keep that motif. Whether it's like a, a series of eight notes or a rhythm or something like that. So... What do we do now? Let's go ahead and start with the piano part. And what I imagined was just a chord, 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 you know, on, on um, quarter notes with uh, with like the either, either the left hand or the right hand. Um, it has the, the offbeat of the eighth note. So da 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 you know, like that. We want this to be the original part. Could be on the lower spectrum here, on the lower lower octaves. And we'll have it do be the ninth rather than the third and then down here uh, it's easy to forget um, how this works but in this case actually what I'm supposed to do is add the stem like that there we go that's how we're supposed to do mm -hmm. that should be the eighth note off beat But how, do we want both of those together? Hmm. Well, let's try it. We'll just uh, add here. And then we'll do two. Oh, no, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's just start with the root. We'll just stick them here. Mm 
basically nine chords. And then we want, uh, we actually want the nine to be a different part. So we're going to cheat here. We're just going to do My penmanship is not as great tonight. Oh, come on. Those, those totally look correct. <laughs> no, don't do that. Go. No. Okay. So This will sound a little stale with the, the piano VI, but it should work with the proper sustain and feeling when playing, you know, live into the computer. Because these these won't be directly imported, and they may even be changed uh, depending on how it sounds once it gets in into the sequencer. I've found that sometimes my piano parts don't sound as ideal as like you know I might want them to. Right. I mean, I could put a sustain in there, but that that might mess it up a bit. Um, and I prefer to just leave that for the for the sequencer stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't need to put that in here. So. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy this. Two more times. So uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Just simply changing the chords. like the third in there. Okay, let's go back here. Pretty close to what I kind of wanted. 
maintain the 9 chord, you know, the sus 9 in there. Okay, I need to remember to make this bigger. It's easier to move like that. the same um, now we need to got to figure out the bass here because it's it'll make the 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 idea a little more you know obvious so it's supposed to go two, three, four, five. right so we have a simple part down here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and then an eighth. And then another. You'll see where I'm going with this, hopefully. Let's try that. Okay, so we do that again. I, I, you know what? I shouldn't have tied that. I don't know why I did that. Those those are supposed to be separate notes. Just dun dun. There we go. Okay, and one more time here. This is the part that I want to change a bit, and I got to think of how I want to do this real quick. So give me just a moment. We'll just do whole notes. All right, I figured it out. We'll just do uh, simple whole notes at the end. And then we're going to walk down here. Oh, no, I'm not even going to try that. I'm just going to draw up there. That's not the right chord. Uh, we have to figure out what chords we're actually doing here. So we have. Yeah, see, that doesn't work either because it doesn't quite move into the next part. So we may just have to simplify it here again.
I lied. We didn't figure it out. See, things just don't end up on paper like you think they do or think they could. Let's got to go back here and fix this. something later or we'll do something with another set of instruments okay so let's uh, go ahead and get some more parts in here we're gonna go ahead and add What's what's the next thing I want to add? Let's do strings. And then we'll do first, second, viola, cello, double bass, all the obvious ones. And then we will cheat. Because that's always fun, right? Do we want to lead in? Let's see. In. So we'll move all the way here. Oops. And then we'll go down to double bass. Paste that. We'll use that like. Man. I don't know if we'll be able to hit that. Well, we can fix that later in post, as they say. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do. Oh, I always, I'm very melodic with my cellos, so I don't know if I'm going to do cello. I just want something to to, to kind of, you know, fill out the meat of the bottom um, when you have, you know, low notes like that. So let's add the other two things that I obviously was going to add, even though they're kind of not as important now, and that would be percussion. We want timpani and... Where are you? Gran Casa. And then um, this will be down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. It's always good to get this stuff in. And we won't have two notes for temp. Because they don't exist at the bottom there. Hopefully you guys kind of know where I'm going with this. I partially know where I'm going, but not entirely. And then the Casa, there are, uh, yeah, there's, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Why is there flat? That's weird. Okay. So let's just dump the flats and see why they need to be there. They do have several notes, but we'll just stick with the. They have different tunings, basically, the way uh, drums work. Bass drums, grand casas, there's. A variety of bass drumish type uh, orchestral instruments. And then we'll just might as well add this. Right? So we got a whole note there. And uh, we want it to tremolo. To do this, we push and then we. See if I remember how to do this. Yeah, that's right. There we go. See if that's fast enough. Yep. Okay. 
So we'll just do that, and then we will copy this here. Uh, no, we, no, let's not do temp there. What we do want is just, you know, a symbol. Okay, so we'll just pop a symbol there. Okay. Then the piano keeps going because I believe you could one you know you could you could kind of one hand that, but at this point, I'm I'm probably just going to edit them as accordingly. And I'm, I'm not the only piano player that does that, by the way. Secrets. So, <laughs> okay. So that's. Uh, let's go ahead and draw. Um, we need a. We need to do some quick things here. Let's go ahead and go back all the way, and uh, listen to what we have. here we're gonna pop a rehearsal mark right there continue mark there right so we're not done going on with D just yet uh, we still have some string parts and definitely uh, let's go ahead and add these do we want trumpets in this no nah, maybe not yet um, we want two horns and theoretically we could also wait no not 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 normal horns sorry French horns. These can go below the brass. Um, I think um, some bones would be good because we're probably going to use those later. Uh, they will be ever so slight though, hopefully. And then bass trombone to go with that. I'm not sure exactly how epic we're going to get with this just yet. I guess we'll find that out, won't we? Um, we'll wait on trumpet. Tuba, we can add that in, in, in the sequencer. We don't necessarily have to add that here. So let's go ahead and take that off. So let's uh, finish up this episode by filling in just the basics with the, the bones here. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to go in that low. Generally, even in samples, though, well, yeah, it's, it's just too low for it. Uh, even in samples, sometimes really low sounds and bones don't sound that great. Really depends. Not like you get from a live player. Yeah, 
And we might as well add the proper articulation. And then we'll just copy all of that. Oops. And with the base bone, we should be able to safely pop down here. So, uh, trying to remember how to do this. Perfect. Okay. Unison octave. And then we go down. Can a bass bone hit that low? So we got that, and then the horns, that'll be in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope you somewhat got something out of this, and we'll definitely be uh, expanding more on this arrangement. Let's do a big save, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more. I'm, I'm planning on eventually, you know, once I get this, this it took me a while to figure out just how to record all this, um, I will be continuing this possibly daily. Um, and you'll be able to see this go all the way to the end with all the fancy smancy samples on the on the beast machine that i have uh as opposed to this tablet right here which is what i'm using now and we will definitely see how that turns out so thank you very much um it's good to do this i, I definitely look forward to the next episode thank you very much and goodbye